short story of the exploit that God used the Youth Missions Fellowship brethren to do in the short time mission trip to Ibudo Sunday. Ibudo Sunday is one of the full stature missions international Nigeria missions field under Kayama local government in Kwara State. Ibudo Sunday, also known as Liberia, is the place where the FMI missionary in person of Bro Yao Isidore and his family settled, yet reaching out to quite numbers of other interior villages at kilometers away, where people grew from some western part of Africa, such as Togo and Benin Republic, settled for their farming career. These were the places the YMF team intended to reach out to with salvation and revival messages through film shows and open air crusades. The Youth Missions Fellowship Brethren left for the field from Ibadan on Saturday, 10th of September 2016. The bus arrived Beria Market around 6 p.m. This is the major town before branching into the jungle that leads to Ibudo Sunday. After relaxing a while, the missionary was already waiting for the bus to arrive, led the team to the mission base at Ibudo. The bus couldn't move very fast due to the nature of the road, and this eventually made the front tire to deflate and was replaced but there was a bit delay in the course of changing the tire on the road and the brethren finally got to ibudo sunday around 11 pm the following day was a sunday the team had a worship service at the fmi church which is the only church existing in that region the service was anchored by some of the ymf brethren and the service featured prayer sections sunday school praise and worship testimonies and the sermon was given by the youth pastor, Pastor Yinka Jemilawa, who led the theme for the tree. Altar call was made after the message, and people responded and were ministered to. All the people were glad and praised God with great joy in their languages and danced to the Lord. My name is Ayashi Jolua Tosin Jamilola. Um, this thing is a mission strip to some villages in Kwara State. This team is called the Youth Missions Fellowship of the Full Stature Missions International. Uh, right, presently, we are in a village called Ibudo Sunday, also known as Liberia. And very, very soon, we are moving to another village called London, the London Village. Don't be sure, it's a village. Which was a Monday, 12th of September, the team set out to London Village where FMI had a brown church. This village is more civilized than the other villages that were around the axis of the region. But presently, the church lacked a resident pastor. In the evening, after the arrival of the team to London Village, open air crusade began with a film show, and many villagers came out joyfully to watch and be blessed. After the film show, ministration began, and people gave their life to Jesus Christ. And many that believed the word of God were delivered from the oppression of the devil as they cry out to God. The team spent a day more with them to disciple and to teach the converts more about the word of God with the aim of establishing them in the grace of God that they have received. Some were taken to the river to be baptized in water after repenting. And another powerful crusade was held that very evening. The following day, the team journeyed back to Ibudo Sunday in order to prepare for the next crusade that was to take place at Koko Village in the evening. The crusade kicks off the section of praise and worship where the YF men team forgot about themselves and joined the people in praising the Lord with dancing offering. Thereafter, the people sat down for the film show. The film show led to an altar call where they came out in their numbers, surrendered their life to Christ. The people were ministered to after confessing their sins. The Lord touched them and they were delivered from fetish powers and chants that they brought to the crusade ground were surrendered. The next day was spent at Jekunu village. Though tough time was experienced, technically and spiritually, this very day, the heavens seemed like brass at first. Everything looked confusing, but eventually, the Lord took control and everything bounced back to normal. And the crusade eventually commenced with a film show, after which missionary Yao preached to the people. After the message, he led them to pray 
and call forward those that are already and willing to give their life to Christ. The people were ministered to one after the other, and there was a great manifestation of God's power. After the crusade at Jekyll village, the team spent the next day at Widow Sunday. Unfortunately, the open air crusade couldn't take place because of rain. The would be crusade was moved into the church. Deliverance began to take place all over the place. Great wonders began to happen as the younger people among the team were casting out demons to the glory of God the Father. Prayer change was ongoing amidst some of the YMF brethren. This was a wonderful testimony of the great thing that happened at the Sunday's crusade. The following day, the team were in Vobera in the morning for a medical outreach and planned for a crusade in the evening. This is Josephine Yisa reporting from Bobera. This morning a truck came over to Ibudu Sunday and picked us up to come over to here to Bobera and it, it was an awesome experience. We came by 10, but last night in Ibudu Sunday God worked wonders for us. We realized that our fire was dying down, so we prayed and we fasted, seeking for God's faith, and He answered us. Now today we also prayed and fasted and we know that God is going to perform wonders. Now to my left you can see the medical team, they are doing an awesome job, and from there they sent people to the faith clinic to my right. There they get prayed for and they're delivered and demons are cast out. And even this evening we're going to have a crusade. And over the crusade ground, which is just over there, we know that wonders are going to happen. At the medical outreach, the team were already on seats to receive the people and prescribe drugs for them to meet their needs. Both children and adults came around to get drugs, including the Fulanese. And this served as a great opportunity to reach out to them with the gospel message. Aside the medical team that were working, the YMF team formed other two departments, which were the faith clinic and the counseling team, that prayed for and talked to the people that had spiritual issues apart from drugs. The evening crusade started with film show, and many villagers were seated to watch. The missionary preached the message, and many also were led to Christ. The youth pastor prayed for those that came out for the altar call, while other members of the team prayed for the congregation that came for the crusade. And that was the climax of the YMF crusade campaign for the trip. The team members of the trip were all excited with what their high saw and their experiences in the field for the days that were spent. Some are here to share their views. I thank God for the mission trip that we came, and my experience was so good. Bernard Buff is my name. Uh, it is my first time I've been in mission of faith. I'm Unigo Koluwa Mayowa. We thank God for this mission trip. It has been so nice. The experience has been so wonderful. I mean, wonderful. The mission trip was a great one. I learned so many things spiritually, physically, character wise, in all aspects. My name is Phil Kies for Drunkies, and uh, it has been an awesome experience. And I'm a living witness of um, the great things that God actually did here. And one thing I have experienced is I've been put in charge of the kitchen, and I've never cooked for like 30, 50 people for a whole week as a stretch. So everything was just over our power. We are happy. Ah, everybody feels like not going home again. Feel like staying here. My name is Oluwata Ojo. I attended the Dancing World Mission Conference last month and I came out when Pastor Omelani was ministering to join the mission as a part-timer to go out for a village outreach. So when I heard about YMF outreach to Kwara State at Ibudo Sunday, I was very glad because it's a, it's a kind of uh, answer to my prayer. My name is Pastor Nika. It's been wonderful to meet all these youths down here. The experience has been very wonderful. We've seen God move among us. Finally, on Sunday 17th of September, the team set out from Vobera to return from the trip back to Ibadan. On the way back, flooding was encountered across the road and it was difficult for vehicles to pass through. The saving grace to come back that day was that the YMF bus was parked across the river preceding the flood. The load were flooded from the vehicle that carried the brethren from Vobera and the brethren carried their load on their heads across the river where their vehicle was parked. In conclusion, the Youth Mission Fellowship trip to Ibudo Sunday, Kwara State, Nigeria, was really a testimony. All glory to God Almighty for the great things He has done through YMF.